Streep said that if she never won another award, she would go to her grave happy. Well, now she will go, God willing, not for a long time, happier. After two Academy Awards and 13 nominations, Streep was honored last week with the third annual Coolidge Award, named for a recently renovated and beloved independent theater here in Brooklyn, Massachusetts. Uh, and then from the left, of course, Ms. Meryl Streep. It's actually been a month-long celebration that included a screening of the upcoming film A Prairie Home Companion and panel discussions of Meryl's more than 30-year career. At one such discussion, Meryl Streep joined her colleagues from the 2002 film Adaptation. Screenwriter Charlie Kaufman, actor Chris Cooper, author Susan Orlean, who wrote The Orchid Thief, the book the film was based on, and also got her good friend Meryl to come to Boston in the first place. Meryl Streep played Susan Orlean in the film, a reporter who followed a man obsessed with orchids. I wanted to want something as much as people wanted these plants. But it isn't part of my constitution. I suppose I do have one unembarrassed passion. I want to know what it feels like to care about something passionate. An adoring audience showed up to hear the adaptation panel. We wanted to bring you some moments featuring the warmth and humor of the woman of the hour, Meryl Streep. Longtime New York Times critic Janet Maslin was moderator. She asked Streep why she was suspicious and when I, she first saw so the script. Sure. It was such a great part, and I really wanted to play it, but I was very suspicious about why you wanted me to play it. <laughs> what, what ulterior motives? Why could he have had in mind? Well, uh, um, because Susan is <laughs> smart <laughs> and younger than I am and glamorous and uh, uh, younger than I am. And I, <laughs> and I just generally don't get offered, you know, at 50, whatever I was parts for 38-year-old women, so I was very suspicious about why they wanted me in this movie, because it was a sexy part, and so I was really eager to play it, but I also thought, why do they want me? Are they going to make fun of me <laughs> in this? And it's really true, and so I flew to California and met Charlie for the first time in Spike, and I, and, because I thought, I wanted to know if you were going to make fun of me in this movie. And they both swore up and down. They weren't. And uh, we embarked on it. it. I mean, having said that, it was like a great part. Didn't one I of mean, your kids urge you to do this? Oh, my kids, yes, of course. They, they re recognized hipness, coolness right away. And they said, you know, Charlie Kaufman is the bomb, Spike Jones. How can you not? And I said, I know, but I don't know why. Um, one of the things that you do that's very difficult to show, and it's more and more necessary in, in, now that we all are on computers, is to type in an interesting way or to write in an interesting way. And I just wonder, I mean, you, I don't know how you made yourself look like a New Yorker writer, but you really did... Uh, you seem to you seem to be writing somehow when you were. It's good because I can't even type. <laughs> I mean, I. I <clears throat> and you didn't watch Susan. You did. You just sort of picked. No, up I. And... It's <laughs> funny. I didn't watch Susan um, because I didn't want to be distracted by the truth. And um, and um, you know, I had to to fake a lot of it. I just. Uh, my mother told me, if you learn to type, then you'll have to type. <laughs> <laughs> the panel also took questions from the audience, one of whom asked if Meryl Streep thought sure. training was a big part of her success. I, I think uh, I believe in training, but I, I, I mean, I, I do uh, really, I'm, I'm telling the truth when I say I don't understand the acting process and how you teach that. Um, but having said that, everything else around acting I think is is really important. So, oh, like um, the things that really I count on in my own training and, and I, I use all the time are things like my dance teacher, Carmen de Lavalad, who taught me where the center of my body is and, and how to make that space relax. 
and also be very strong, hold me up, and to give me stamina. And the people that taught me to speak properly and not like I'm from New Jersey all the time. And the people who um, taught me, you know, to read sonnets and my... Uh, <laughs> And I'm a believer in really good liberal arts uh, education because if you know a little bit of everything, baby, you know a lot. You know? <laughs> and um, except math, I really feel you don't need it. <laughs> Another audience member asked if playing her adaptation character in the film An Adulterous what? Drug what? Addict and Murderer was a career risk. Uh, no, except in reference to the first, my first issue in, in terms of, you know, because having become Meryl Streep, I, I have to, you know, protect and preserve the little thing that sits under that bell jar, which is actually me. And um, so I, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't think I really had anything to lose. My God, I'm not clear on the question. Is it, uh, is it is it that there's a jeopardy in making experimental things? No, I think that nobody knows the trope. Nobody knows what works in Hollywood. All they want to know is a formula, and they can't really figure it out. As soon as they have a formula, it tanks, and something big with a big star goes down the tubes, and they can't figure out why. And another fan got a big laugh after presenting Meryl Streep with a blueberry skull. You achieved this mythic status as the Meryl Streep and all of these things. My question is, who or what keeps you grounded? Who kind of says, oh, Meryl, you're not that great? Who <laughs> At first, I liked you. <laughs> and then, um, I'm, you know, married. <laughs> For a really long time. And um, that uh, person who is not here um, today, but... Um, He's pretty important in that process that you mentioned. I also have four children who really are not impressed. And, um, and a large extended family who also have uh, various issues with me. So. This is all really nice, but you know, tomorrow I go back to that, so. <laughs> <laughs> Actress Meryl Streep, winner of this year's Coolidge Award, celebrating independent theaters, recorded last week at the Coolidge Corner Theater in Brookline, Massachusetts. In yet another side of Ms. Streep, we'll leave you with her singing Goodbye to My Mama with Lily Tomlin from the soundtrack of the upcoming film A Prairie Home Companion. Goodbye to my mama, my uncles and aunts. One after another they went to lie down In the green pastures beside the still waters And made no sound Their arms... Here and Now is a production of WBUR Boston. I'm Robin Young. Please join us again here and now. No longer I hear They're in Jesus' arms And he's talking to them in the rapturous new Funding for Here and Now comes from the MathWorks, creators of MATLAB and Simulink technical computing software, on the web at mathworks.com.